Hello everyone, in this video we will understand one of the important interview questions based on the bitwise manipulation. So let's see what is the question. So you are given a decimal number and you have to count the total number of set bits in that number. So what is the meaning of set bits in that number? It means that for example if you are given a number 3 okay, and the binary representation of 3 is 1 1 right. So how many number of bits are there which are 1 in this binary representation? Basically, both the bits are 1. So, we will say there are total number of 2 uh, bits in this number, which are basically 1. For example, if you are given 22, okay, this is the input. So, the binary representation of 22 is this 10110, right? Now, how many uh, bits are there which are 1 in this number? So, you will say this is 1, this is 1, and this is 1, alright? So, there are total 3 bits which are 1. All the remaining 2 bits are 0. So, there are total three bits which are basically set set means they are one okay so they are total three bits which are one okay in this binary representation okay so this is the uh, output that you have to tell okay and let's say if you are given number as zero so what is the binary representation of zero basically zero or you can say zero 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 right so there is no bit which is one so you will say there is like zero bits the number of set bits will be zero there is no bit which is set in this given number okay so how you can solve this question okay so if you have seen my previous videos of the bitwise manipulation like uh, like checking whether a number is even or odd or you have to set or reset a particular bit okay you have to check whether a bit okay a bit is set or reset something like that okay so then you will uh, find this question very easy okay so you can find the link of all those questions in the bitwise operator playlist or you can find the link of those questions in the uh, c programming interview question for the embedded companies in that playlist also so you can please watch those videos you can find this question very easy okay so the solution of this question is based on how we can convert a decimal number to the binary number and you know that how we can convert decimal to binary okay i hope you know the number system like uh, conversion of decimal to binary okay so using that thing we can solve this question okay and based on that only we will uh, see that we can use the bitwise operator based on this idea only okay so for example we have number as 22 okay so how we convert the decimal number to the binary number we do the repeated division thing right so we divide the number by 2 okay so 2 1 are 2 2 1 are 2 this is the quotient okay so after dividing 22 by 2 this is the quotient 11 what will be the remainder it will be 0 right now we again divide this number 11 by 2 okay so what will be the quotient 2 5 are 10 and what will be the remainder 1 so this is the these are the remainder now again we will divide this basically this 5 okay 5 by 2 so 2 2 is a 4 this is the question what will be the remainder 1 okay again we will divide this by 2 so 2 1 is a 2 1 is the question what will be the remainder after dividing this 2 by this 2 so 0 right now again we will divide this number 2 by 2 so 2 0 is a okay so this will be the question what will be the remainder 1 right now this uh, number this 22 has reduced to 0 now we will stop and then how we uh, tell the binary representation of this 22 we go in the reverse direction and we see 10110 10110 it is the binary form of this 22 and we can see here right so you have seen uh, or you have understood uh, this uh, conversion uh, in your previous classes or right so I hope you know how we convert this 22 into the decimal number using this way. Okay. So I am not going into that thing. So let's say you have to store this answer, this 10110 in somewhere. Okay. Let's say in array. So then you can solve this question or you can write the program like this. Okay. So we are assuming that binary representation will be a 32 bit number. So we are taking our output array uh, as of 32 bit. Okay. And uh, we are saying till the time the number does not reduce to 0. We are again and again extracting the uh, bit basically. Okay. So we will extract the bit like n mod 2. Okay. So this will give me the remainder and I will store in the array. Okay. So like this is the my array 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the indexes. So I will say uh, like 22 mod 2. It will be like remainder will be 0. I will place here. Okay. At i is starting from 0. And then I will say n equal to n by 2. Like I am uh, like uh, taking the quotient that is 11. So my number is now become 11 right then again i say 11 is not reduced to 0 okay so i again divide this 11 by 2 and i will get remainder as 1 okay so next i will get 
one okay here i have to do i plus plus also sorry i forgot that okay and now number reduces to five okay 11 by 2 okay so now our number will be 5 now again 5 is not 0 so again 5 mod 2 but i will get 5 mod 2 remainder i will get as 1 so i will place it as here right and then again i will do the same thing i will change this number okay so after dividing 5 by 2 i will get quotient as 2 that is my number changed to 2 and so on okay so in this way i will place all these like uh, all this remainder here okay so uh, everything will be saved here and then what I will do, I will reverse this number, okay, reverse this number means reverse this binary representation, basically I will reverse this array, okay, so all the other things will be like, you can say, by default you can just store 0 only, okay, something like that, and then when, when I will reverse this, what I will get, all these things will be like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, like I have to reverse this, then I will get 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, okay, like that. So this is the binary representation I will just print. Okay. Now in this question, we do not have to store basically this binary representation. We have to just count this one. Okay. So how we can extend this question to like uh, count the total number of set bits in the given number. We do not have to store in this array or something. Okay. We do not require this. Right. So we will do the slight change. What is the slight change? Instead of taking this array. Okay. We will like count the uh, set bit on the run. Okay. On the uh, go. Like how? So what we will do is here you can see we have added this thing. So we have taken a count variable which is initially 0 which is counting the total number of set bits okay which is storing the count okay. We are saying we will take the remainder okay and if the remainder okay which is getting stored in the this variable. If the remainder is 1 then we will increment the count. We will say yes I have got the like uh, any bit as 1 then I will increment the count and after that we will change the number. If we do not get the set bit as 1, we will simply ignore. We will simply go with the like change of that number. So how it is working basically? The first thing is like if we divide any number by 2, we will get remainder as 0 or 1. Why? Because if we divide any number by k, we can get the possible values as 0, 1, 2, 2 till k minus 1 as the remainder. This is the basic mathematics, right? So now here you can see if it is 22 okay we are dividing this number okay and we are saying ki, okay what is the remainder so let's say 22 mod 2 we will get 0 so we will say this set bit like, like uh, this bit is not uh, basically 1 so we will not increment this count okay count is 0 only so we will simply change the number that is we will get the quotient as 11 now number is 11 right now again we will go here and now we will divide 11 by 2 so we will get the remainder as 1 right so now we are saying okay we have got the remainder as uh, like uh, one okay so we will say increment the count okay increment the count right and now count will become one and we will change the number we have to change the number always whether we are getting remainder as zero or one okay now my number will become five then again i will divide this five by two okay next time so next time i will again get one remainder as one and i will say set equal to one so count is two okay and same way i will just change this number by two same way so i am like uh, incrementing the count variable based on whether i am getting one or zero as the remainder bits okay and i am simply incrementing this count and i am just printing that thing okay so this solution is okay if i am not constrained by the idea that we have to use the bitwise manipulation operator okay then this solution is acceptable but if i have to use the bitwise operators then this solution is not acceptable now, what will be the change in my answer if I have to use bitwise operator? I will somehow replace this mod operator and this quotient operator using the bitwise operator. Okay. So, how uh, we can do this? Okay. So, this is the solution basically. Okay. Using the bitwise operator. And how we arrive to this solution? For this, you have to understand some of the things. So, basically, uh, the, there are some observations. Okay. And if you have seen my uh, video, which is uh, basically based on whether a given number is even or odd, then you can uh, easily understand this solution. Okay but let's see the observation is if you divide any even number okay by 2 then you will always get remainder as 0 and if you divide any uh, let's say odd number for example 11 is an odd number if you divide this uh, by 2 you will always get remainder as 1 okay for example let's say if you have any odd number let's say 25 also okay what will be the remainder okay so like 25 2 like it will be like 2, 1, 2, okay, then something like 2, 2, 4, okay, you will get remainder as 1, okay. 
So any odd number divided by two, you will get remainder as one. Any even number divided by two, you will always get remainder as zero. Okay, so this is the observation. Now here, what this is doing? This is basically saying ki, you divide a number. Okay, you are given a number, you divide the number and you extract the remainder. You extract the remainder. Okay, if that remainder, okay, if it is uh, like one or zero, it can be either one or zero if you are dividing. Okay, if it is one, then you increment the count. Otherwise not. Okay, so you, what you can do this uh, like extraction of the, uh, you know, last bit see basically what is happening like what is 22 in uh, decimal well, sorry in bitwise uh, bitwise representation 10 110 and this is a 22 this is basically an even number so basically you will get this zero you will get this zero here okay if let's say this is like 25 what is 25 in uh, binary form this is 25 in binary form okay and here you can see this is one last bit is one lsp is one so if you divide this 25 by 2 you get remainder as one so basically this is the only one which we are getting as the remainder by doing this n mod 2 okay this is the uh, observation so at last you have to extract this lsp bit okay or you have to check whether my given number is even or odd that logic you have to use simple okay because this is one only when this is odd okay and the last bit or uh, remainder you will get zero only when your given number n is even number so simply so what is the uh, like logic for checking whether a number is even or odd or you can say extracting the lsb bit this is the logic n and one okay so basically if you have like this number okay and if you apply this and n what you will get because zero one will always be zero and all the bits are zero it will be zero right so same logic okay so what will happen like n and 1 currently it is 22 so 22 and 1 you will get 0 you will get 0 basically this is the 0 okay so you say set equal to 1 no so you will not increment the count count will remain as 0 now you will change the number now how you change the number you have to change this 22 to 11 okay so you see like this is the 22 okay now how we can change this number to 11 okay so if you see if i do the uh, right shift okay if i like remove this one okay and if i uh, do the left uh, right shift this side okay so one zero one one zero this is 22 and if i do left shift by one place the zero will be out okay now here all the bits will be shifted and here zero will be forced so this is what this is basically 11 simple so i am just shifting or i am right shifting the number by one place and i am changing the number so this operation can be re replaced by this right shift okay simple i get 11 now again here i will get 11 and 1 okay so 11 is like 0 1 0 1 1 okay but we got this and again i am saying and 1 and 1 means this one now i have to extract this bit basically so this will yes extract the base 1 1 will be 1 so this is basically coming here and all the things will be zero so 11 by 2 the remainder is 1 the same thing i did via this one only so i will get one set equal to one yes this bit is one i will increment the count and simple and again i have to change this 11 to 5 so earlier i was doing 11 by 2 to 5 11 by 2 that is question is 5 now here i have to get the same thing 5 only can i get by n uh, right shift by 1 yes see 11 is this right 0 1 0 1 1 and if i right shift by one place what will happen this one will be out right and i will only get this as the answer 0 1 0 1 so this is my new n right 0 1 0 1 and what is the value of 0 1 0 1 in decimal this is basically 5 so simply i got the quotient as 5 yes i got my desired answer right so same way it will work so based on this observation this question is working okay i can replace these operation by the this operation and this bitwise operation okay so i hope you have got the idea that how we arrive to the r bitwise uh, manipulation solution okay and what is the time complexity of this solution time complexity of this algorithm or the solution is log of n where n is the number okay so why uh, log in is the complexity 
because in this algorithm or in this uh, process we are actually uh, traversing all the bits of a given number okay and there are total log of n bits in a given n number okay so that means if we are given a number n then there will be total log of n bits how so we can see here let's say if we have a number four okay then we have three uh, number of bits in its binary representation so basically if we can write like uh, uh, four is our given number and if we take log of four it will be two okay and uh, like uh, how many bits are there basically in uh, like uh, binary representation of four these are three so you can say ki, okay log of four is two but uh, the number of bits are basically log of four plus one in the binary representation of four okay so basically these are two plus one three same way if we uh, see the next number that is eight okay in eight okay we can like if we take log of eight it will be three okay and the number of bits in the binary representation of eight are four so we can say log of eight plus one one is like uh, one more extra bit is there that is four okay so in general if uh, we are given a number n then there will be total how many bits there would be log of n plus one okay and if we talk about the time com complexity then we have to take the like order of okay order of log of n plus one and this will be order of log of n right so there are total log of n bits in a given n uh, in a given number and we are traversing the those total uh, you can say those total bits only in our this algorithm so that's why the complexity is log of n so before ending this video let's run this program and see what is the output so here is the solution okay so i am uh, like entering a number okay and here uh, like uh, i have just copied this my number into a temp variable okay because i will be changing this number n okay inside this okay and later on also i am using this number just to print okay so i do not uh, want to like uh, I, I i want to get this uh, original value of the n so i am just copying okay i am saving this value of the n in a temp variable and i am manipulating this temp only okay so temp is basically a my number only okay so this is the uh, code and then here i am saying the total number of set bits in my given number n is equal to count only okay so let's run this program we compile this program i am running this program and uh, let's say we have tw uh, like uh, 22 okay so here see total number of set bits in 22 is 3 okay and let's say we have 0 then there are no set bits okay and let's say we have 25 okay so see 20, in 25 also we have set bit as 3 and let's say we take uh, like 3 only okay in 3 we have total number of set bits as 2 only okay so we are getting 2 only so if you have any comment suggestion please write them into the comment box and do like share and subscribe to this channel see you in the next video till then goodbye